Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be working on a much needed project. Most of our projects in the past have been built on this table. And as you can see, it's very sturdy. Some of these legs aren't even attached. It's just like this one. And this one. There's all kinds of damage on this table. We've got burn marks, we've got holes. And I don't even know what this is, but we need a new tabletop. We started by measuring out four pieces of one inch angle iron. Two were two feet long and two were four feet long. After clamping it down to the table, we used our angle grinder to cut the pieces from the long strip. Using the same angle grinder, we made sure the ends were square. We just picked up this new MIG welder. MIG stands for Metal Inert Gas. How this thing works is there's a gun which spools out a load of wire and there's this clamp and the welder sends about 140 amps from this spool of wire into this clamp through the piece of metal that you're trying to weld and it creates an electric arc which is so hot that it melts and fuses the metal together. When I turn this thing on it creates a lot of heat and a lot of sparks so it's pretty scary. Using the new welder we tack the edges of the angle iron together to form a rectangle. We made sure that one side of that rectangle had a flat top so that we could put a piece of plywood on it later for the tabletop. Then we went back and fully welded the pieces together. For some extra support we added a 1 inch square 16 inch thick cross brace to the center of the rectangle. It was 22 inches long so that it fit in between the two pieces of 4 foot angle iron. We've just built our four foot by two foot frame for the tabletop, and we're gonna weld these square steel tubes. They're uh, one inch square, and these are gonna be about two and a half feet high, just like our last table. Uh, but on one side, they're gonna be a little shorter so that we can mount these wheels on one side so we can lift it up like a wheelbarrow to move the table around. After cutting the three lengths of one inch square tubing, we ground the ends down to make sure that they were flat. We then used some 90 degree magnets to attach the 20 inch cross braces to the two pairs of legs. On the longer pair of legs, the cross braces were about nine inches from the bottom. On the shorter pair, they were about five inches from the bottom. This was so that they sat at the same height from the ground. Once we had finished welding the legs together, we ground down some of the welds on the top of the table to make it easier for us to attach the wood surface. Using a few clamps and those 90 degree magnets, we welded the legs onto the ends of the tabletop. We welded them on the back side of the angle iron to make sure that they were straight. One final piece of 44 inch cross bracing was attached to both legs to keep them sturdy. It was mounted about 15 inches below the top of the table. Check out some of these beautiful welds. To attach the tabletop, we drilled six screw holes around the perimeter of the angle iron. We then wiped the table down to get rid of some of the extra grease and prepared it for paint. We used a can of self-etching primer for better adhesion to the metal. After a few coats of that, we finished it off with a coat of black paint. While we were waiting for the table to dry, we 3D printed some brackets to attach the wheels to the table. Eight fourth inch, one and one half inch bolts were used to attach the wheels to the brackets. The brackets have a slot on the bottom for the square inch tubing, so we just pressure fit them on. After the table was finished drying, we applied some Danish oil to the wood top. Then, a pair of 3D printed feet were added to the other side of the table to keep it level. For some finishing touches, we secured a power strip to one side with some zip ties and screwed the tabletop on with some number 10 screws. We have ourselves a table.
new table. It's obviously way more sturdy than our old one. And we're really liking it. I really like this nice um, oak wood with the uh, Danish oil on top. Um, the welds are not as good as we'd like them to be, um, but it still is pretty sturdy and it holds up, so I think that's really all that matters. We also put some heavy-duty wheels on this thing because we like to roll the table around when we want to uh, move it around in our garage, and they're much more heavy-duty than our old table, so we really like that. We also added this extra little power strip because sometimes we're using a soldering iron on the table, uh, and it's really annoying to have to use an extension cord in order to plug the soldering iron in. Um, so this will be helpful for that. Sometimes it's really hard to get a table level. So we use our 3D printer to print these custom 3D printed legs. And that should make it easier for us to level the table if it's slightly off. Another thing that's nice about this table is that the top is removable. So if we mess up this tabletop, say we spill some solder or you know, we burn something on the table, we can just take this off and put a new piece of wood straight on. All right, now that this table is done, there's only one thing left to do. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If there's anything you think we could have done better, or if there's any additions that you would have added to this table, please let us know down in the comments below and we would love to hear them. If you wanna check out some detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how we built this table, including 3D printed parts, a materials list, and specific measurements, look in our description for a link to the hackster.io write-up. Also, if you're wondering where I got this cool t-shirt, we're partnering with our friends at Bonfire to create these special uh, limited edition t-shirts that are only gonna be available for a couple of weeks. So if you wanna get your hands on one of your own, then go down in the description and check out the link to the Bonfire website. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all our other videos and projects. But until then, see you next time.